Good morning, this is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. The Attorney General's office says two Sioux Falls police officers were justified when they shot at a suspect back in July. The report says the two officers pulled a car over near 6th Street and Cleveland Avenue for a revoked license. Investigators say a man in the back seat pointed a shotgun at one of the officers. Police responded with gunfire but did not hit anyone. Authorities used a taser before arresting Mario Rodriguez, who was a parole absconder. Investigators in Mitchell are looking into what they call a suspicious fire in the southwestern part of the city. Mitchell Fire Rescue says crews were called to the area of Cedar Avenue and Ullman Street just before 11 o'clock Wednesday night for reports of a grass fire. Firefighters arriving on scene found large fire in a tree belt west of an area of business. Crews were able to control the fire in 45 minutes, but were on scene until almost 1 o'clock Thursday morning due to debris and wind conditions. Investigators have ruled out any accidental causes. If you have any information about the incident, call the Mitchell Department of Public Safety. No one was hurt after a box truck caught fire on Interstate 29 Thursday morning. The Lincoln County Sheriff's Office says it happened near the Hudson Centerville exit. Beersford and Centerville Fire, along with South Dakota Highway Patrol and South Dakota DOT, responded to the scene. Strong winds caused the fire to spread to a nearby ditch. A tractor and mower were brought to help stop the fire from spreading. The driver of the truck reported an electrical failure and smoke coming from the engine compartment before pulling over. And a crash involving two large trucks left one man dead and another facing charges. A straight truck was traveling north near Bowdle on Wednesday when it ran a stop sign and was hit by a semi-truck. Authorities say the 47-year-old man driving the semi died. He was not wearing a seatbelt. The 59-year-old driver of the other truck, who was wearing a seatbelt, suffered minor injuries. But the Highway Patrol says charges are pending against him. Now let's send it over to meteorologist Brian Karstens for a check on our morning forecast. Some rain out there today, Brian. Yeah, some rain to help cool us off. Those highs yesterday reaching 94 in Sioux Falls, and we were up to 100 degrees in Mitchell. So we definitely need cooling things down, and these uh, clouds and showers will be very effective at that. So far this morning, as of about 7.30, we've had two-tenths of an inch of rain in Rapid City. Uh, we've been more than double that, though, up at around Spearfish, over half inch of rain. Also, some heavier streaks of rain last night with some of those hail uh, spots near Watertown. So overall here, some pockets of active weather. Sioux Falls is going to pick up more rain today. We'll talk about that with FutureCast in just a couple of minutes. Thanks, Brian. An arson from two months ago has turned into a homicide investigation, and the victim's family is looking for answers. On July 17th, the fire was started in an apartment building on North Grange Avenue. 53-year-old Sharice Admire was in that apartment and died the next day from her injuries. Her family has been dealing with that grief, but for her youngest son, it's hard to get past the tragedy of her death. I can think of a million and one wonderful memories with my mom. And it always sucks that I always got to come right back to this. Like it, and, it, and that's just, to me, the most frustrating part. To read more about who Cherie Sadmeyer was and the message her family has for others, visit this story here on Kelloland.com. People from around the world are reacting to the news of Queen Elizabeth II's death. Patrick Rainford is an exchange student from Manchester studying at SDSU. He heard the news of the Queen's passing and says it's a sad time for the UK. I was just sat there in my, my flat up talking to my, my roommates and I was just like, whoa, oh, the Queen's died because I, I saw that she was ill this morning. It was just quite shocking and then my family started. I just talked to my family and it was just shocking. The Queen died at the age of 96. People in Aberdeen are getting a chance to meet the people growing their food. The third Field to Fork event is happening tonight in Aberdeen. The event gives attendees a chance to try food made from different local commodities and meet the producers who grow it. We, I hope that they uh, are excited about agriculture and excited where their food come from. Um, I hope it uh, creates uh, future engagement, maybe, maybe uh, locals will want to go and visit the farm and see actually how it is produced rather than just maybe talking to the producer. The event starts at 5.30 tonight in Aberdeen. Tickets are required and seating is limited. 
Game Fish and Parks has confirmed the presence of zebra mussels in Blue Dog Lake in Day County. Officials say a family found two adult zebra mussels on their dock over the Labor Day weekend. Blue Dog Lake is now considered infested with zebra mussels. GFMP is reminding everyone to clean your boats and trailers off all aquatic plants and mud. Also remember to drain all of the water and dry your equipment. That is a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Brian? All right, some rain on the way today. Showers are ongoing today across parts of western, central, and northeast South Dakota, even the southeast. We've seen, we've seen a few thunderstorms or some bolts of lightning once in a while. I think there's more evidence for rain to develop around Sioux Falls as we uh, go through the late morning into the afternoon. There should be a consolidation of a line that basically has that southwest to northeast orientation. So I would keep that in mind. That could easily be a nice downpour for a few uh, areas along the path of that. Maybe Sioux Falls, it'll be awfully close, it looks like here by late this afternoon. The other fallout from that, it may affect some of the kickoff uh, events with some of these football games this evening. We'll have to watch that. I do expect, though, the overall trend this evening is for less rain as we look at the Ketherland viewing area as a whole here. Temperatures will be sliding into the 40s and 50s, a cool Saturday morning, and your day on Saturday looking dry, I would say, for the vast majority of us. And, hey, you can't argue with low 70s, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Looks pretty pleasant. All right, your forecast today, 60-degree weather, pretty common. Mitchell, 65. Winter, 66. And Rapid City there at 59. Forecast lows tonight, 45 Brookings, 47 in Huron, and all of those low 70s tomorrow, Chamberlain 73, Mitchell 73, Sioux Falls, yep, near 70, and we'll head to the 70s Sunday and Monday. Next week, dry weather for most of us, and also a warming trend as we're back into the 80s. Maybe we start talking some 90s out in central South Dakota the middle of next week. So we'll keep an eye on that. Unfortunately, it's going to heat back up because we're not picking up enough rain today to really dent those drying conditions out there. Drought monitor is up a few ticks as well on the latest scan. Rapid City too, we're drying out beyond any leftover showers late tonight and early tomorrow morning. Find out the complete forecast online at kevilland.com.